Just wanted to remind everyone that Fox News once held a mock trial for Hunter Biden. It's incredible and I need everyone to know about it. So here are some highlights. The judge was TV judge Joe Brown. There were two actual attorneys presenting arguments. The entire time, the judge and the attorneys had to keep reminding you, the viewer, that this is a mock trial. This is a mock trial. It is not a real proceeding. In this mock trial, which the judge stressed over and over, is not a real proceeding. Of course, this is not a real trial. It is a mock trial. I will keep emphasizing that. I was also a really big fan of the defense. This was like the first thing he said. He's smoking crack while he's awake, while he's asleep. He's with prostitutes. He's making amateur porn. Now, if I was mock Hunter Biden, I would mock fire my mock attorney, but that's just me. There were only two witnesses in the trial of the president's son, the pawn shop owner who goes on Fox News a lot to talk about Hunter's laptop, and Miranda Devine from the New York Post who goes on Fox News a lot to talk about Hunter's laptop. At one point, TV judge Joe Brown just like invented a new legal term. We're here for a semi-probable cause. That was like the first three days. They broke into mock recess and then came back the next day for mock deliberations. I'm pretty sure everyone on the mock jury was just randomly picked at a mall. Like someone at Fox was standing outside in Auntie Anne's being like, you want to be on TV? But it's not TV, it's Fox Nation. Deliberations were pretty boring. My main takeaway was the jury wasn't as swayed by Hunter Biden's dick pics as the prosecution thought they'd be. The salacious pictures did nothing for my decision. Yeah, so there's two of them that you see. There were deliberations for two counts, one regarding Farah and one regarding bribery. It lasted all in all about 20 minutes. It wasn't until this point that I realized even in this mock trial, the jury was only deciding whether the government should investigate Hunter. There was no possibility for a conviction. So the grand reveal, mock count one regarding Farah, the mock jury mock decided that the government should mock investigate Hunter Biden. But in mock count two regarding bribery, the mock jury decided that Hunter Biden was mock innocent. Even in Fox News' fantasy show trial, they can't get a guilty verdict. Now I get to use this thing one more time, all right? There you go. That felt good. I'll be reposting this video to my Twitter where you can find the full thread of when I originally live tweeted this in October. The link is in my bio.